year. Devils number four is a really cool series and everyone should check out when they get a chance to. It's a word about devils, angels, and humans living knowing about the other's existence. Devils offer contracts to take advantage of humans and their greed to claim their lifespan. Devils have to make these contracts in order to continue existing. Devils always get the most out of said contracts. They function just like salespeople. They get more leeway and privilege based on the monthly reports and credibility. Now obviously, humans only go for these contracts because greed. And that's how it all works. So let's say for example, you want to marry a model or see that person that never ever gives me attention, or maybe get a lot of money. The devil can give you all that. And all you gotta do is sign a contract and you're good to go. But remember, once you sign that contract, the story stated, if you make a deal with the devil, you always pay the price. And once you make it, there's no going back. All devils in the series go by a number set of names. A main character's name number four. A successful devil that almost every the devil knows about. He doesn't have much friends and allies, but as time goes on, he's becoming more and more human due to his recent assignment to make a contract with a girl named Hannah. And he's pondering if the work he's doing at all is beneficial or necessary in the grand scheme of things. Hannah doesn't have much desire due to her upbringing and poor finances. The way Hannah was raised, essentially you just endure and do the best you can with the very little you have. She just goes from studying straight to her job and then straight home. She made time to make friends her doormates do want to be friends with her, but she's so focused on surviving, that's all she does. Survive and do all she can. The guy in her class that always liked her, but never ever given time of the day. They finally get a chance to know each other, but it's like she's so naive. She doesn't know when someone's flirting with her, or just being friendly. She's just doing her thing. And number four is acting weird because the first time ever he's really considering our devil's parasites. Because he's thinking about his very first experience with his job and realizes he has a short-term benefit, humans get their wish, no matter what it is, from a devil besides immortality. They can't do that for some apparent reason. But the thing is, let's say you have a child, you find your lover, an important person to you, that was the care. They get your lifespan. The long as the contract, that's what you have to give up. So yes, if Hannah goes into a contract with him, he gets her lifespan, and monthly report stays looking good. However, he's hesitating because he's like, wait, I could use old tricks on her, you know, tempt her, use my charms on her, all the stuff devils normally do to get humans to go into contracts with them, but he doesn't want to do it for some reason. He's like, wait, it's not fair. If I do that, bad stuff will happen to her. And she wants to always pay me back. I don't know if I could just do this like how I always do. And everyone else is like, wait, number four, you're acting really weird. She's just a human human or livestock we take advantage of them we've always been doing this we're getting harder something what's wrong with you we don't have emotions like humans they're lower than us now you're caring for this one human why don't you complete your job ready and he was like hey y'all harm her i'm gonna kill y'all and because hands like violence he said you know what i'm just really really scared the hell out y'all so i'll never mess with her again or any of the human that i care about so it's like he's changing because of hannah and Hannah's changing because of him. Cause now Hannah's starting to realize that, hey, there are things she wants, but she doesn't feel good about just getting what she wants without giving something back in exchange. So it's like, as things go on, every time the devil gives her one thing, she's like, hey, how can I pay you back? Or should we do this? And it's like, wait a minute, you good? But I do understand where Hannah's coming from. She's naive because if all you had to worry about is just surviving your day-to-day -day life, and then you get an opportunity to get everything you want more, what would you do? What would you wish for? Let's say you've been poor your whole life and someone's like, hey, I can take your debt, give you the greatest food you can ever imagine and everything you want, but you gotta do me a favor. Would you accept that deal? Or would you hesitate? So I think her reaction is normal for her character, but I do wonder what's gonna happen to number four because if he messes up, he gets killed because his higher up told him, hey, you may have done well in the past, but you know how things work around here. It's about results. If you mess this up, it ruins our reputation, and you won't pay a price for this, you're not tolerating failure. Because remember, devils that don't work or are not successful, you cease to exist. So you know what you gotta do. Either do your job or stop existing. You know your deadline, get on it. So now it's like he's racing against time to enter a contract with Hannah, but once again, he's only hesitating because he knows what happens 
any time any human indulges in their greed with the devil, they always get the short end of the stick. So I think maybe he's worrying that if he helps Hannah this one time, the second he's done with her, she might want another favor and then make another deal with a different devil and they'll drain every last bit of her lifespan, killing her. I think that's his true fear and he's probably falling in love with her, but since devils don't experience love like regular humans do, it's weird to him. He was in one little situation, it was like, hey, you know, it's easy to tempt humans because we're devils. Tempting and being charming, it's our thing. And because we experience lust, we can easily give humans all the stuff they need sexually. But because we don't have, you know, the emotion love, we can't get attached to humans the same way humans get attached to each other. So it's easy to just trick them, sleep with them, give them a contract, and then there you go. Why don't you just do that? And he's like, mm, I could, but I don't know if I want to do that. And once again, since she never had experience with the opposite sex, she doesn't even know what to do if that even happens. And he was about to, but he stopped himself. He's like, wait, it's not really right. I understand it's my job, but is there a better way? And he kept thinking about the whole idea of how once you enter a contract with the devil, it never ends well for the human, no matter what the case is. So I'm thinking, maybe the story's trying to say, the beauty in being human is we're flawed. So we have a lot of potential, but we gotta be aware of flaws and work with them, not against them. Because check it out, they keep referencing how humans have lust, they have greed, and that can destroy them. And people can take advantage of them by using those set factors. But there are humans like Hannah, they're not really experienced in that department. So you never know what to do when those situations happen. And also, the way they talk about it, and you're supposed to be like a perfected human. They don't need to sleep, and they can do everything demons can't do. And demons are slightly better than humans, but they need humans to exist to continue existing because the way number four was saying it, they're kind of like parasites. They get turned on and enjoy torturing and bothering humans. But the thing is, if they don't get humans to torture or bother, it's like they're bored, they don't know what to do. So it's weird, they're in this weird situation where it's like they only exist because humans exist. If humans go extinct, what the demon's gonna do. Now, hopefully the series goes on, we get to know more about how angels and how their society functions to some degree. And then we can see why the devils have to do this job. Because so far it's just, you have to do it. We don't know how the higher ups feel about this, if they're under the same pressure. Because there has to be a lot of like, renting in a way. So essentially, your landlord has to speak to a higher up and they have to worry about getting their money so they can keep doing what they do. Maybe something like that. But we'll see as the story goes on. I only read like five or six episodes, so there's a lot we can learn. I can't wait to see more. So the whole point of this series, I think, is supposed to say, humans are amazing because we're flawed. But because we're flawed, we can't let our flaws get the best of us because if you don't, the very things you chase after and want will be the things that destroy you. I like series like this where it makes you question your humanity and everything in between because are demons really that bad? Or just doing their job? That's one way of looking at it. Or is it the human's fault because if humans didn't have their greed or their lust or anything bad of being a human, the demons wouldn't do their job the way they do it. They're just taking advantage of the situation. Are angels better than humans and demons? We don't know yet, but so far it seems like angels may be some douchebags or just too perfect. We'll see. So tell me your thoughts based on what you heard. Are you interested in the series? Do you want to see more from it? What do you think about this whole series? You think it's trying to say something or it's just having a fun time, making people question their life and life choices. Just a thought. So, rather than the video, you know what to do. Like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to join my fleet, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord. If you want to back me financially, you got a Patreon and a coffee. Links are in the description box below. If you want to hear more webtoons, tell me which ones you want to hear about or I should peep. If you have ideas for videos, you can also put in the comments and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I could really say so much more, but my crew needs me.